Hello everyone. I'm back again with my 24 slash 25 week update since I didn't do the 24 week update last week. Um, I didn't forget to do it. I actually did record a video but I didn't post it up because uh, it was like a sad video. You know, um, that day I had a had a fight I got into a fight with my boyfriend again and it was just like pretty much boyfriend talk which I figured why even put it up if it's not even pregnancy related well it was a little bit just like cuz you know I've been saying that I've been feeling like grouchy and like angry especially with him and we had actually broken up that day so I made one anyways you know so then, um, I figured I'd wait, but, uh, I just didn't like the way I made the video and all that, and I was, like, kind of sad and stuff, but, so I was just, like, not even in the mood to put up a video, which we, like I said, we had broken up, but we did get back together, like, probably five minutes after I had made the video, because, uh, he called, so, and we worked things out, but you know gets old you know we keep breaking up but it's I get like so angry with him that it's just like you know and I tell him I'd rather not be with you if you're gonna keep making me mad you know like so anyways it's a long story we'll work things out we're doing good now and um I'm still feeling pretty good um the other day I was worried because I hadn't felt the baby move in like two days. I mean, I had felt her move a little bit, but I wasn't sure if it was the baby moving or if it was like gas. <laughs> like, uh, you know, right now she's big enough to where I know when she's moving, but this one was just a confusing feeling, you know, the way she moved. So, and I never paid attention to it, you know, until the next day. I was also like, you know, I haven't really felt the baby move because there's times where she moves so much that it scares me because she hits on my stomach or my belly so hard that it's like, you know, I jump because it scares me, you know. Like, it doesn't scare me. It just freaks me out because it's like out of nowhere, I'll just feel like a boom, you know, and it's, it's her. So I hadn't felt her move and I was like, I was nervous and I'm like, oh my God, you know, because I guess you're, if you don't feel baby moving the whole day, you're supposed to go into the doctors or whatever. But I didn't because, like I said, I didn't even pay attention until I was talking to my friend who just had a baby. And we're talking about that. And I'm like, you know what? Now that, you know, we're talking about it, I haven't felt the baby move. So then I was like, you know, kind of freaking out. So then um, that night I was like, you know, if I don't feel her move tomorrow, by the time I get, you know, off work, I'm going to go in and have them check her heartbeat or something because I was like nervous. So then that night when I went to sleep, or when I lay down, it's like if she knew that I was worried because she started going crazy, and I was like, oh my god, like I felt so happy to feel her move, I was so excited, I was like, oh my baby's okay, you know, she just kept kicking and moving, and you know, I love feeling her move, I put my hands on my stomach, and since I'm, you know, plus size, it's kind of hard to feel her move. You know, so I have to press on my stomach a little bit to where, like, you can start feeling the hard spot. And, like, right there is, like, I don't press hard, but, you know, just enough to where I can, as soon as I touch that hard spot, you know, I stop pressing. And then that's where I feel her, like, move and, like, my hands jump up from how hard she kicks. And so, yeah, so I didn't have to go to the doctor. I do have an appointment on Wednesday, which today is Monday, but this video probably won't be up until tomorrow, Tuesday. And um, I am currently 25 weeks, and uh, I always get so confused, and I do this same time every 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 week. 25 weeks in four days, and uh, I'll be 26 weeks on Thursday. So yeah, so and as far as symptoms, I haven't felt anything major, you know anything different just you know her moving like feels like a hard rock 
like being thrown up like hitting my stomach and then it goes like and it moves like it's just so funny and um <laughs> the other day i was cracking up because i don't know if the baby got scared or what but i was laying down and i felt her move to one side and like it hurt where she was um where she moved to so then i pushed on my stomach a little bit and i felt like this like hard thing and it moved <laughs> and then uh, so i knew I'm like, oh my god, I think I scared her because as soon as I touched it, like I felt like I moved to the other side. So then I pushed on the other side and then I touched her and I felt her again and then she moved down. <laughs> so then I did it again from the bottom and I felt her move up. Like It was just funny because she kept moving like saying, oh, what's that, you know? Like, gosh, it's so cute. And I couldn't stop laughing because I'm like, oh, I scared her, you know? But, um, so yeah. Um... Let's see. I have to make notes because I'll think of all these things that happen. And then I never write anything down. And then when I make the video, I'm like, for like half an hour trying to think of something. And, you know, and I have seen some videos. The girls write their, you know, they make a list, you know, their notes. So I thought that was helpful. But, um, so the main thing that I noticed um, you know, I am dark skin, like I'm brown, you know, I'm Mexican, if you didn't know. Um, the other day when I went to take a shower, I got undressed, and I'm, I'm expecting a package, sorry, that's why I keep looking out the window, that's why I'm in the living room doing this video, you know, I always do it in my room, or in the office, but, um, uh, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, so when I was going to go in to take a shower, you know, I got undressed. And then on my stomach, like, you know where your belly button is? I had this brown line that goes down and I was like, I'm like, what is that, you know? And I was like, Can I, how did I get dirt on my stomach and in such a perfect line? So I'm like, I'm doing this, <laughs> like trying to take it off. And it wouldn't come off and I was like, whatever. So I went and take a shower or took my shower and I was like scrubbing right there and I kept looking I'm like what is that brown line you know like it looked like somebody got out of the marker and went Phew. but it looked kind of like faded it was just weird and then it hit me oh my god you know some pregnant women get that you know that brown line from your belly button that goes down and I've heard dark women get it you know like you know my color or darker women and I never thought about that at all. Like, it never crossed my mind. Like, I never even thought anything about that brown, brown, line, brown line. And I have seen it on some women, you know, on TV that they are like, they show their stomach. And, you know, you see that brown, brown line. And I do remember talking to my sister one time saying, why do women get that? And she's like, I don't know, but it goes away, you know. So then, that's when I was like, oh my god, I, I got the line, you know. And I don't think it, I mean, it looks weird because it's like, I, I'm dark, but I don't think I'm that dark. Like, I'm actually, like, my stomach and all this is, like, really white. And, um, it's like, you can see my veins and, like, especially on my chest. You can't see because this video is so bad right now that I look like I'm doing a black and white video. But you can see veins on my chest and, like, veins on my stomach. And it's like, you know, I don't think I'm that dark and um so i got the the line so then i went online to see what it was and they just said that you know dark darker skinned women will get it some will you know and i was like oh i'm one of the lucky ones so then i showed it to my boyfriend and he's like i didn't tell him what it was and i'm like look and then he's like who did that and i'm like that just came out naturally you know but um, i thought that was funny so oh my god one thing that I have to say is that I have, this is TMI, I know, but oh my god, I have had gas. Like, you cannot believe. Like, my poor boyfriend, I bombed him <laughs> the other day. That sounds so bad, but, and he, you know, I couldn't stop laughing because I'm always so embarrassed, you know. And I've, you know, I've done it in front of him before, but this time it was like all day. And it's always him, the one that's doing it, <laughs> and this time it was me. He's like, what? It's going on and I'm like now you know how I feel you know and I'm like I can't hold it in I'm pregnant <laughs> you know every time I I do something I always say I'm pregnant you know so shut up and um so I've been so gassy you know it's like <sighs> crazy and uh, I do feel like I have to go pee more like sometimes I can even feel the baby hit my bladder 
or like she'll move and it's like when she moves i'm like oh like i have to go to the bathroom and like i'll go and like a drop comes out but um yeah so that's one thing bloody noses i've still had a lot of bloody noses and it's like all day yesterday me and my boyfriend were sitting here in the living room and then i can smell it like i can smell the blood and i'm like and as soon as i do that i'm like oh my nose is gonna start bleeding so my luck both my nostrils were bleeding so then i'm like sitting there going like this and he's like you want some tissue and i'm like no you know because i didn't want to get up i was lazy so then finally he goes and he brings me the roll of toilet paper so i'm sitting here with two pieces of paper up my nose you know and i said i look sexy don't i and he's like you always do but you know he's just trying to be nice but yeah and it bleeds a lot like right now i can feel it a little bit on this side this is the side that bleeds the most and i can feel it up here like a little bit that's why it popped into my head right now because i can feel it coming and um so i still get a lot of those um i feel like i get more hungry like i'll eat right now and then like an hour later or two hours later i'm hungry and i'm starving and i'm like you know like give me food now like whatever just you know let me eat it and my sister's like you know god you know i'm amazed you're eating because even though i'm big and all i can eat a big meal now and then i eat the rest of the day like before i was pregnant and that's why my doctor said i've gained weight is because she's like if you only eat once a day and it's a really big meal like something fattening that's why you gain weight she's like you have to eat constantly during the day so your metabolism can be faster but so now it's like I'm eating, and I'm like, I want a hot dog. You know, that like these hot dogs that I've been craving. So we'll get a hot dog. Or my, some, my mom will text me sometimes. She's like, hey, you want your hot dog? Let's go get one. You know, my boyfriend comes home from work on the weekends, and he's like, do you want your hot dog this weekend? I'm like, yes, I do. But, um, so yeah, so I'll get hungry, which every time I eat, I try to eat healthier now. You know, during the week, I have like whole grain food, like Cheerios, bread. You know stuff like that oatmeal and um so yeah like those those are the only things i've been feeling in my 25 weeks or my 25th week yeah and like i said i have a doctor's appointment on wednesday and i'm thinking they're doing the glucose test because on that paper that they gave me it showed you know it said something about the gluto glu glutose i must be hungry glucose test but um so i think it's like i don't know people tell me it's like three hours Somebody told me they had to sit there for four hours, and it's like, oh, you know, so I can't go to work because it's going to be in the morning. So, yeah, so I'm going to do that. My diabetes, or not my, I don't have diabetes yet, but my blood sugars have been normal after I eat, but they're higher in the morning when I'm fasting, which doesn't make sense to me, but that's something I'll talk to my, my, bleh, my doctor about. You know, I must have, I must be getting a migraine soon because every time I'm going to get a migraine, I, uh, I can't speak my words right. It's like funny, but anyways. I only have two minutes left, and I want to show you guys real quick the, these things that I bought for the baby at Goodwill, a um, dollar a piece. I have this little thing right here. It's like knitted. Oh, it's so cute. It's like for when she's like three months. And I have this thing right here. I don't know what these are called. That one, I just bought two onesies. They're just cute. You know, I like buying these there because I know that they go through them really fast. So it's like I'm not going to go buy new ones. I mean, I still am, but that one. And then this is the cutest. This little sweater. It's yellow. And lastly, these adorable little shoes are only $5 at JCPenney. Oh, you can. There you go. I know she's going to wear them for like the first week and then I don't know more, but... My boyfriend fell in love with them, so he got them. I'm going to do a quick belly shot. I have a few seconds left. Sorry, my kitchen is like right here, and that's all my dad's stuff. Anyways. Oh, my shirt is sticking out. It's a little crooked, I know. I'm wearing these eternity pants that keep falling. But that's my belly right there. From the front. Sorry, I know the laptop just like tilted, but I have to do it quick. And there it is. So <sighs> I ran out of breath just standing up. That's my update. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe, comment, or whatever. Um, talk to you guys later. Bye.